Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slappy Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. For the seafood lovers out there, I have a treat for you today. We're going to be doing a Pacific Gooey Duck episode. We teach you guys all about this uh, world's largest clam, where it comes from, how to prepare it from the uh, shell, how to take it apart, how to prepare some very simple but very, very delicious dishes using the Pacific Gooey Duck. Nice folks at Phantom Seafood sent me a box of surprise. Let's look in and see what we have. Thanks to the nice folks at Phantom Seafood in Tacoma, Washington. They sent me a couple of gooey ducks. This is a gooey duck from the beautiful, pristine waters of Washington State near the Puget Sound. Now, gooey duck is the world's largest burrowing clam and is actually native to the Pacific Northwest. It can grow to over 100 years old, and the oldest gooey duck is about 170 years old. They are found all the way from Alaska down to British Columbia, Oregon, Washington, even down to California. I've had the opportunity to actually harvest a wild gooey duck in Tamales Bay near San Francisco. These gooey ducks are running about approximately $40 each, and uh, you, you get basically a gooey duck that's about 5 to 7 years old. I'll explain to you guys how we kind of take apart one of these gooey ducks. Wild gooey ducks can grow up to 170 years old and 100 year old specimens are not uncommon. These gooey ducks are sustainable ones that are farmed and these are about 5 to 7 years old. They will reach about 1.5 pounds. It's good to start with a flexible fillet knife and uh, a piece of uh, towel to get started. So the gooey duck usually comes tied with a piece of rubber band. This is just to keep the shell together because uh, when this is in the ground, it's kind of like that and the sand or the mud holds the gooey duck together. So you want to keep the gooey duck alive. You need to leave the rubber band on. You can take it off. The uh, shell is connected to the body by two, two attachment points on each side. There's a muscle here and a muscle here and a muscle here and a muscle here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a flexible boning knife. We're going to sever the attachment points here so we can take apart the gooey duck. So a gooey duck has three distinct parts. You have the uh, digestive organs here. You have, this is called the breast or the belly or the chest. And then you have the siphon right here. So I'm going to remove the digestive portion here. This is edible. I'm going to show you guys how we prepare it. This is a prized delicacy in Asia. And uh, this is the digestive system. It's got plankton in it. And I'll show you guys how to prepare it. I'm going to smoke this piece. We're going to cut the belly off. There's a little ridge here. And remove the siphon. And we're going to rinse this part out. We're ready to clean the siphon area now of the uh, gooey duck. And the way you do that, there's a skin that needs to be removed. We just put some hot water in it for about 30 seconds. We'll loosen the skin and we dunk it in ice. to prepare the digestive uh, area here. I'm going to put some uh, of this, uh, this is kelp kombu to flavor the water. If you don't have uh, kombu, don't worry, just a little bit of salt will be fine. And we're going to, we're going to poach the uh, digestive piece here until it's done. I'm going to have to smoke in the smoker. And, um, a lot of folks in America, they will discard this piece, but in Asia, it's a delicacy. So You'll find just eating the siphon and the belly, but this is also a delicious, delicious tasting part. We'll just let it simmer gently for a little while. We're going to give it a little bit of a smoke after that. The uh, digestive organs are now cooked, and I'm going to drizzle a little bit of a garlic shallot oil on it. Get a little bit of barbecue rub on it. I'm going to use my chicken rub, which is really good on seafood. All right, we'll give it a gentle smoke at around 200 degrees. So it gets a little bit of a smoke. All right, let's get ready to remove the skin. As you can see, it's shrunk. And you just kind of pull the skin off, kind of like a pillowcase. 
and you can see that this is the length of the animal it's about three feet tall so and this is discarded it is not eaten by way of background phantom seafood based in tacoma washington is the world's largest distributor of uh, gooey duck they have about 300 million in sales and they basically distribute about a million pounds of gooey duck uh, mostly for the international market it goes to china and countries in Southeast Asia where this is highly prized. With the advent of COVID, uh, a lot of uh, seafood businesses have been affected because restaurants have been closed. So I want to kind of do a shout out to all of you watching this video to go out and uh, you know in enjoy seafood again, try to keep our American families uh, in business because the gooey duck industry involves not just the people who harvest it, but it involves the people who you know maintain the boats, the, the fishing vessels, all the way to the boat handlers and all the people involved in transportation and logistics. So we want to help small businesses involved in the seafood industry kind of bounce back from the COVID. So I'm going to do a shout out to you to go out and buy some seafood if you can. You can go to the Phantom's website, uh, phantomseafood.com. And there's going to be a discount code uh, SYD that gets you 10% of these gooey ducks. I'm using this beautiful slicer, 12 inch knife, uh, which is from Delstrong. This is their brand new Valhalla series knife with the beautiful kind of bright resin and wood handle. This is absolutely a gorgeous knife. It, was, it debuted on April 29, 2021. So if you're looking for a great, beautiful knife that's well balanced, easy to use, go ahead and check out Valhalla series by Delstrong. I want to point out that the uh, gooey duck has a siphon and there's actually two siphons one going in and one going out this is a plankton feeder animal and the world's largest burrowing clam so you sometimes have mud in the middle so you just make sure that whatever way you want to do you want to cut rings or cut it in half you make sure that you rinse it out before you serve it Farm gooey ducks are actually grown on private beachfront property and uh, the small baby gooey ducks are raised in a fishery and they are planted into the ground where they will grow and then be harvested five to seven years later. Now gooey duck is interesting enough because they are actually uh, going to put uh, carbon back into the shell. So these are carbon negative type sustainable uh, foods when the gooey duck goes into the ground the uh, gooey duck takes the carbon from the atmosphere to build the shells and it actually it cleans the air and uh, these are grown kind of like a forest so when they harvest the gooey duck at five to seven years a new baby gooey duck is placed in its place so it's kind of like growing a little forest of these little animals that are kind of good to eat and also good for the environment gooey ducks they run about $40 a pound so this piece here is about $40 to $50 if you so happen to find wild gooey duck uh, that's gonna be something about two to three times more expensive and uh, gooey ducks in the wild are very tightly controlled by all the state authorities up and down the west coast of America they basically have biologists that go out and survey the gooey duck population they will not allow more than 2% of the gooey duck in any particular area to be harvested for commercial use or for personal use. And uh, it takes the gooey ducks approximately about 40 years in the wild to go back to normal. So this is done so that the gooey duck wild harvesting is sustainable. For farm ones not to worry, they, they can basically farm these in about five to seven years. And there's plenty of pristine waters up and down the coast of America to farm gooey duck. All right, we're going to drizzle some hot oil. This is about 475 degree hot oil. 
to kind of sear the gooey duck. Add a little bit of soy sauce now, a little bit of ponzu on top of the oil. I use a little bit of sesame oil as well as the canola oil. So it's maybe about a two, three to one ratio. A bit of soy sauce, a little bit of Japanese shikimi pepper. Now for the feast of the Zizidons, I'm going to add um, some yuzu juice from the yuzu lime. All right, long last, let's give our gooey duck a taste test. I'm going to try the first one here, which is the one that is just sashimi style. A little bit of ponzu here. Just a fantastic taste of the ocean. A little crunch and a super duper umami sweetness that kind of overwhelms your taste buds in your mouth. When you try it raw, this is the most recommended way to eat it. Just plain raw with a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice or yuzu juice. Just a little bit of soy, sometimes a little dash of salt. It's just absolutely perfect. I'm gonna try this one now. This one is the one that I did the torridito. Torridito, which is kind of like Italian style. With a little bit of jalapeno, a little bit of sriracha. Try this one. That flavor of the chili, sriracha, the sweetness of the umami of the ocean. Unbeatable taste. Let's try now the new style sashimi. This one is done with a hot drizzle. This is recommended for your friends and family who may not like to eat raw food, but this has already been kind of cooked using the oil. See, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And this one has been seared with a little bit of a hint of ginger, a little bit of shikimi pepper, and a little bit of uh, the uh, lime juice, which is I use yuzu, but you can just use lime or lemon juice. So this one has a little slightly different taste because that's the belly meat. The belly meat doesn't have kind of like the springiness and the texture of the siphon. Depending on your preference, uh, you may like the siphon a little bit more because it has a little bit more crunchy texture. The belly is a little bit more tender. So you can compensate if you're cutting up the siphon. You can actually slice it thinner if you think it's too kind of springy or you can slice it thicker to adjust accordingly. Same with the belly. So the belly meat is slightly different than the siphon. And I honestly think that the flavor of the siphon seems a little bit more umaminess, a little bit more of the ocean flavor. That sweetness is a little bit more strong on the siphon. On the belly portion or the breast of the uh, clam, it's a little bit more muted. So if you want to start people off eating this gooey duck clam, you may just want to start them on the belly because the flavor is not so strong, but it's absolutely, absolutely pleasurable. So now let's move on to the part that is barbecued, which is smoked. This one is the uh, piece from the uh, uh, digestive tract. I kind of uh, simmer it a little bit and then uh, put some rub, barbecue rub, give it a smoke at around 200 degrees, just give it a little bit of a smoke. Now this one you can see, right, this is uh, has cooked uh, plankton. This is the what the animal eats. It, this animal is a filter feeder, so it's got two holes in the siphon, one to bring in the plankton and one to eject the water. I'm going to go dip it some uh, ponzu sauce here. Good taste test. Super creamy. Has a hint of that smoke from the pit. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. This one is really kind of very, very tender and soft. So you have three different flavors. You have the crunchiness, the springiness of the siphon. You got the softer portion of the belly. And then you have the digestive tract, which is like a super soft kind of marshmallowish. All of them have terrific flavor, super duper sweetness, umami, and taste of the ocean. So I hope you like this episode on the gooey duck. I may be headed out to Washington and uh, check out the actual farm to table, go out in the boat and see how this is harvested in the ocean. If you want to see that episode, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any questions about gooey duck, where to get them, go to phantomseafood.com and use that uh, discount code uh, SYD to get 10% off. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and ask me in the description below. Now it's time for me to give Beans a little bit of a gooey duck. I'm not sure he will eat it, but let's give it a shot. Okay, we have Mr. Beans' plate here. Let's see if Mr. Beans will enjoy something from the sea. Okay, Beans, I know you're used to eating brisket. And, uh, you know, you always want brisket. But today, we're going to serve you a little bit of something from the ocean. So I hope you're okay eating that. Can dogs eat seafood? I guess so. Let's give him a shot. All right, Beans, give Gooey Duck a try. He's sniffing it, he's sniffing it, he's sniffing it. He's eating the digestive tract first. Chowing it down. Smelling it, smelling it more. Grab the uh, piece here. 
That's the belly. And a little bit of the siphon in there. He's smelling it. Is he eating? <laughs> Beans. I know it's kind of weird, right? You like it? No? Okay, he won't eat it. So he's eaten some of it, but he won't touch it. So not this piece. You want this piece, Bean? No? Okay, so Mr. Beans is licking it. Is he going to eat it? Oh, he's going to eat it. Okay, cool. Oh, no, he spit it out. Try again, Beans. Think, what's this weird rubbery springy stuff in my mouth here? He's chewing it. Okay, there you go. There you have it. Now, Mr. Beans is a gooey duck dog. And a little pup here seems to be okay. You like it, Beans? You want more? <laughs> All right. In the next episode, Beans, I'll try to cook some brisket for you. So thanks for stopping by, guys and uh, gals watching my channel. Uh, huge thank you to my Patreons for keeping the lights on on my channel. And uh, if you guys want some exclusive content behind the scenes, go check out We do a lot of coaching, Zoom classes, and much, much more.